Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm your host, Corey Nockreiner. Today's story talks about some scary nation-state hard drive infecting malware. This story comes from research from one of WatchGuard's partners, Kaspersky, who released a 40-some page document describing the Equation Group nation-state threat actors. This 40-some page white paper talks about a long-standing attack campaign. The campaign has been targeting over 45 countries from Russia to China to Afghanistan and so on, and has been going on allegedly since 2001. This white paper describes a whole bunch of different malware modules, things from from key loggers to USB spreaders to get past air-gapped networks and many other modules. A lot of the modules seem related to past nation-state malware campaigns like Stuxnet and even the more recent Regan. One of the equation group's most interesting modules is one that's able to overwrite the firmware of hard drives. Apparently this malware is uh, designed to recognize many different vendors' hard drives, Western Digital, Seagate, IBM, Maxter, and so on. And if it has one of those hard drives it recognizes, it can overwrite their firmware and totally take over the Windows boot process. This means reformatting, wiping the hard drive, reinstalling the operating system. All these techniques will not remove the malware from your computer. It makes it very, very hard to detect this particular malware. Now, Kaspersky just described these actors as likely coming from a nation state. However, later in the week, Reuters published an article uh, quoting an ex-NSA employee who confirmed that the NSA uses hard drive overriding techniques such as the one described in this research. So it seems like the equation group might be the NSA. In any case, it shows how advanced some of these malware techniques are becoming. And while this clearly is a nation state attack, I suspect many of these techniques are going to continue to trickle down into normal criminal malware. And this is why you can no longer rely just on signature based AV. We need more advanced techniques to catch zero day payloads before they infect our computer. Because once they've overwritten our hardware firmware, it's very difficult to get them off our systems. Well, that's it for the day story. Thank you for watching.